Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about the graphic design. Today I'm going to show you how to create egg with paper cutout style. I already have 5 tutorials with this style, but what the difference between today's tutorial and others? It's the way of creating the shadow. Before that I created shadow with help of drop shadow effect, but it's not a 100% vector shadow, it's a raster effect. But today I'm going to show you how to make 100% vector shadow to create paper cutout effect. And if you're interested, please keep watching. And guys, for this tutorial you need to prepare photo of the parsley. You find this photo below this video or you can find your own photo. Ok guys, let's start. Select this orange color rectangle tool, hold shift and make the square. It's our background. Now select a light color, this one and brush tool and here we need smooth in the options of the brush and now let's draw the shape of the egg as you know the broken egg can be any shape so i can uh sorry i draw this shape and you can draw other shape it's no matter select the shape it, and move it here. Here you can a little smooth uh, the shape here with help of uh, smooth tool this way. Now select the shape and change stroke to fill. Now select a light orange color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse here. Move to the center. Now select the direct selection tool and move those points a little like this to create not very perfect shape of the egg. Now select this color and again ellipse tool and create the ellipse like this, rotate it, move here. Now again direct selection tool, select this point and put it move it up a little make it a little wider and shorter like this it's like a highlight now let's create the parsley let's open the photo file place i found this photo in internet and hold and drag the photo now we need to open image trace and here preview like this and here move the slider here till you'd like the shape okay now close the window of image trace now we need go to object expand okay now ungroup the illustration and delete ungroup and delete unwanted parts and this part move here and now again uh, object path simplify and here move the slider to the left okay now it's great select of a parsley and make it a little smaller move here and select this color okay the shapes are ready now let's create the shadows copy and paste white shape move here select uh, dark gray color and dark, dark gray color move the gray shape and background to back select the gray 
shape and go to object create gradient mesh and here 5 5 okay and now here uh, opacity multiply select the shape with gradient mesh and in these points you need to add white color like this with help of gradient mesh the shadow is always 100% vector It's a more difficult way than drop shadow effect, but it's 100% vector shadow. This way you can move it, make it fatter, thinner, shorter, longer. Well, now you see we, uh, we are created the shadow. Let's create here. Uh, one more shadow with our day copy and paste uh, this yellow shape now select black and white radial gradient here black here white now go go to opacity multiply now select these and these shapes and bring them to front and now you can stay like this or if you need you can to play with options of the gradient to create more interesting shadow effect well you see you can rotate it uh, you can make uh, the shape of the shadow bigger like this to see more uh, to see more shadow uh, you can play with a uh, slider move the shadow and the shape like this it's as well 100% vector uh, shadow as well you can select a gradient tool and play the gradient like this It's pretty interesting design process to create the shadows. Well, now I think it's great. Yes, now I like it. Now here, uh, let's create the shadow. Select ellipse tool and create the ellipse like this. Again, select radial black and white gradient. Uh, now here, make the ellipse thinner. And here, opacity multiply. Move here. Now select the parsley and make it smaller and rotate it like this now select it and bring to front now select the shadow and rotate it move here let's make a little closer to see all details and now i'm going to play with the shadow let's make it thinner move here i think we need to select a light brown color it will be more beautiful here like this copy and paste uh, the shape of the shadow put it here make it a little wider move the parsley to front play with the shape like this okay now make it wider move here uh, now 
let's uh, again copy and paste this shadow rotate it and move here parsley bring to front and move the shadow here and make it a little wider like this play with the shadow okay don't forget it must be uh, look like paper cutout style now copy and paste this parsley rotate it make it a little uh, sorry transform um, reflex horizontal okay and now rotate it move here and copy and paste it uh, copy and paste the shadow make it a little bigger move here select this parsley and bring to front and now play with the shadow like this yes rotate it move it select direct selection tool here this point you can move a little down and here let's be like this rotate more well i think it's pretty move like this yes i like it now if you want to create the frame uh, you need to select the egg with parsley group it make it smaller now select for example green color and rectangle tool draw the rectangle now select ellipse tool draw the ellipse now select both shapes and align them and pathfinder exclude move the shape here now we need to select ellipse tool create the ellipse uh, radial black and white gradient here we need black here white here opacity multiply and now let's move the slider here and let's move the green shape in front and select gradient here select um, light brown sorry light brown color and let's play with shadow like this let's add one more white color in the gradient and select gradient tool and play till you'd like the result it's pretty easy like this we are almost done okay now let's move the slider a little here yes i like it well now make the shape a little wider the shape of the shadow and i think some steps and it will be great Okay, uh, you can change uh, the mm, background, for example, to this color or to this or to white color as you like. Now we need to create clipping mask to delete shadow beyond our artboard. Select, uh, create uh, re uh, rectangle 1000 to 1000. 
move it here select all design and right click make clipping mask well guys the egg is ready well guys it were two ways how to create paper cutout shadow without drop shadow effect with 100 person vector shadow and if you like my tutorial please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials bye bye guys Mwah!